Now it's time to learn how to push notifications. So inside Google, just type React Native Firebase to see our Firebase documentations with React Native. And scroll down until you get to cloud messaging and press on usage. I would like to mention a very important thing. You need to watch the previous lesson. The lesson was connecting our app with Firebase using this package, React Native Firebase app, without integrating Firebase app with React Native, this notification is not gonna work. So if you didn't watch the previous lesson, go and watch it and learn how to use this package, React Native Firebase app and how to create Firebase project. And in this lesson, let's just use this package, yarn add React Native Firebase messaging. Let's install it. So let's go to our code and press this command, yarn add React Native Firebase messaging and press enter. Now our package is installed. Let's go to documentations. Let's scroll down. We got here first for Expo. We're not gonna work with Expo. We're gonna work with React Native CLI. So let's scroll down. We got here iOS requesting permissions. You can skip it for now because we are working in Android. Let's go to Android. We got here requesting permission. And if you write this comment in Android API level and below, no need to request your permission. But with 33 and higher, you will need to request permission manually. Okay, so let's copy this code. Let's copy it. And let's go to our code editor. And inside our folders, let's create a SRC folder. SRC and inside it let's create a new folder let's name it notifications and inside notifications let's just create a new file name it use notifications.ts or use notification okay and inside it we're gonna export this function export const use notifications equals to a function and inside it we're gonna add the following First, we copied this text, the Android permission. So let's create a function. Let's paste the code and create a function called const request user permission equals to async function. And inside it, we're gonna put inside this line and we're gonna store it in a constant. So const granted equals to await this permission, this permission here. Okay, and let's create an if condition. F granted is gonna be equal to permissions android.results dot granted. We're gonna log console.log notification permission granted else We're gonna log console.log notifications permission denied. As simple as this. Okay? That was our first function. Let's put it inside use effect. So use effect. Like this. And put inside it our first function, the request user permission. Okay? Our second function is the user token. So this is the token, we use it to send a notification to specific device and you're gonna use this token to send it to the back end because back end sometimes need to send some notifications to specific users. So this token is very important. And to get token, we're gonna create this function. const get token equals to async function. And we're gonna add try catch blocks and we're gonna type const token equals to await messaging we forgot to import the messaging so don't forget import messaging from at react native firebase messaging okay so let's copy this messaging and paste it here messaging dot get token as simple as this and let's console.log the token so console dot log token let's add a string before it here let's name it fcm token 
and there is a token and if we get an error let's just cancel dot error the error so let's make it failed to get fcm token and log the error like this okay now that was our second function let's put it inside our use effect here inside use notification function Let's add the listener. It's just a couple of codes. You can go to documentations here and scroll down. Scroll down until you get here. Just read this here to set a background handler called set background message handler outside of your application logic as early as possible. So we're gonna put it inside index.js. So let's copy this line of code here and go to our index.js here inside your files go to index.js here and just paste it here like this okay and don't forget the import this import import messaging from react native firebase messaging don't forget it and paste it here now let's format our code now our document is formatted our last step is Calling this function, use notification inside our app.tsx. So let's go to app.tsx and call this function. Use notifications like this and press save. And run our Android app. So you are on Android and press enter. And now let's test our notifications. To test notifications, you can test it using Firebase. So just open Firebase like this and go to console then select your project the, our project called chatty let's press on it and let's select cloud messaging so let's scroll down until you reach the cloud messaging so let's press on it and press on create first campaign here's for background notifications and here's for in-app notifications we're gonna talk about this later so let's press on firebase notification messages and press create now there's our not first notification let's just type hello world and for description let's just type notification received now you can send here a test message for only one user depend on the token and if you open our code and open our project you're gonna see something here you have first to allow the notification so let's press allow and you need also to close your app to receive the notification because we didn't handle the in-app notifications yet we're gonna handle it next lesson so first let's get the token he said here open the debugger to see the log we can just press j to open the debugger look we got here the token see fcm token let's copy it as as simple as this let's co just copy this token here and let's go to our firebase but first don't forget to close your app so let's close our app and go to firebase and press on send test message and add your token here and press test now here's our first notification hello world notification received you can just type anything that you want for example good evening like this and send this message and select any token and press test look our second notification appear hello good evening and when you press you open the app you can also send a notification message to all users so instead of send test message you can press next and the target select your app you can select ios or android or both and press next we didn't handle it for ios yet and press preview and press publish but it's gonna take some time it will not be sent immediately you just need to wait a little bit to receive the notification if you create the notification as campaign not as a test message okay because it will send the notification to all users finally the notification received has been received hello world good evening and as i've mentioned when you press on create campaign 
it will take a while. So it's better to send using this test, send test message to receive notification faster, okay? That was for our background notification. But if you open the app and send notifications, you're not gonna see anything. Look, you're gonna see nothing. But next lesson, we're gonna add a listener for handling the foreground notifications.